start page include menu area and uh, selection zoom menu include five function items there are test models setup test manager calibration support test models include six function models there are basic protection advanced special IEC 61850 and new models basic model is available for all the customers and the other models can be used only after authorized by Pornova. The gray part in the right is not authorized. user can open it but cannot use it for example this model shows the template has not been authorized user open the power test the basic model are displayed customer can select one test model in selection zoom and click OK button to enter into the test page. Our customer can select more than one test model in selection zoom at one time and click OK button to enter into the test page. So this page includes three templates. The operation of the other function model is the same. Setup includes four function items. There are system and IEC settings, Oxy DC setting, binary setting, and license. Before you start testing, we can set some basic system settings, which will be applicable for all test models. Here, you can set the nominal secondary voltage of PT. Here, you can set the nominal secondary current of CT. Set system frequency. This debouncing time is used to filter the bouncing of output contact of relay under test. The duration of T1 to T4 are all less than 3 microseconds. So this T1 to T4 bouncing will not be sensed by our test software. Here, we need to define the communication port of the relay test set. By default, ISNET will be set here. Select the type of output according to your test set. The default is analog output. If digital output was selected, you can define the protocol standard here. The default is IEC 61850-9-2 The power test software can be used by different model of our relay test set. Before we enter into the test page, customer need to select the model he is going to use. This area is primary parameter setting zoom 
activate the setting zoom by selecting the box. You can define the PT ratio of your system here. Also the CT ratio here. Goose subscription and uh, publish are optional function. Tester has to subscribe Goose information when it receives the tested release Goose signal. Automatic set by using import SCL file function. The tester can also simulate other intelligent devices to publish Goose information. After finish the all the settings, click apply to save and click OK to exit. Here we can set the auxiliary DC for driving the relay which requires DC power supply. Auxiliary DC voltage will be generated at the moment we start the test and will remain active when we change from one model to the other. Click OK button to confirm this operation. Here we can set binary input forms, dry contract or threshold and power level. For relay test set with adjustable threshold, we need to confirm the binary input characteristic and or threshold here. It's used to check information of a model authorization. Test manager includes three function models, template, report, and the test plan. From here, we can quickly open a template. We are continuously making relay templates for different type of relays. The registered user can download the relay template from our website. Here, we can open the real port which we saved before. We can go on our testing by using real port or do the test again. Here, we can open the test plan if we have made. Calibration function is optional. User can consult with Pronovo for detailed information. User can get the user menu and the document from here. Press user forum to enter into the Pronovo website for online support. User can get the information they are interested in our website. That's all. Thank you so much for your attention. For more information, please contact us.